This is Cody, Cody's bait and tackle or saw Missouri. You're gonna talk a little bit about the fishing, not much change. Uh, the only thing that's changing this week pretty much from last week is the lake is starting to lose some oxygen. Uh, I had shad dying this week, dropping them down. Much past about 15, 16 foot. Uh, I'm not showing a solid thermocline yet. Early of the morning before that sun comes up. You can tell the whole water column's pretty fuzzy. Uh, after the sun comes up, I can't really see it on my graph right now, but I've got my sensitivity turned down so low, I might just not be picking it up. Yeah, I think I think by the end of this coming week, it'll be set up pretty solid, somewhere around that 15, 18 foot mark. Uh, for everybody running jugs and trot lines, make sure you pay close attention to that thermocline. You'll be killing catfish and not knowing what's going on. Uh, that happens every year. I did see some dead catfish floating this week from that already. Uh, a lot of people running jugs. A lot of people was leaving jugs out overnight. Uh, if you got them set over 20 foot, your fish are going to be dead the next morning for sure. Uh, as far as the catfish bite, everybody fishing this big catfishing tournament this weekend has been calling me. Uh, Truman's a really good catfish bite, drift fishing, 15 to 25 foot of water on the main lake. The further you go up the lake, the shallower them fish are going to be. Uh, just the way it always works once that thermocline sets up. There will not be any oxygen down on bottom in that deeper water once you go up the lake. Uh, you kind of think of the, like I said last year, uh, a lot of you guys probably wasn't tuning in on this channel last year. You got to think of that lake as a pie wedge once that thermocline sets up. The deep end, it might be 20 foot down. The shallow end of the lake, that thermocline might only be 5 to 7 foot down. So that's going to tell you where them fish are going to be. Uh, that's about all I've got on that right there. Uh, trolling for crappie and walleye, crankbaits, uh, everybody minnow fishing right now for crappie. A few people still jig fishing, but a lot of them are running minnows. Richard Bowling said this week, the hottest crappie bite is on minnows right now. Uh, everybody coming in the shop, doing really good, fishing them shallower brush piles, uh, fishing the hardwoods on that mid Osage and mid Grand. Uh, shallower water, you know, seven to 12 foot of water up on the mud flats. Uh, then brush piles on the main lake up to about 15 foot down are holding a lot of fish. Uh, a lot of fish just scattered out on the flats right now. The guys trolling crankbaits are just tearing them up. There's even a couple of the guides that are just trolling crankbaits catching limits of crappie. Uh, it's pretty easy right now. So we did get Bandit 300s back in and Arkies back in, some Flicker Shad back in this week. Uh, the white bass, they, they've been busting of an evening pretty good. I only seen them bust one morning this week. Uh, I have not been on the water of an evening at all. I have not seen hardly any hybrid top water action at all. They're staying down deep and feeding, but the bite's been really hot all week. Uh, on live shed, I threw artificials the last two days, just trying to see if I couldn't get a bite with them feeding really hard. I never did catch anything on a swim bait. Didn't throw any spoons, but I haven't done much good on spoons at all this year. So, But I haven't tried that hard. It's too easy right now on live bait. It's hard to change. So, uh, As far as that catfish bite on Lake of the Ozarks, pretty well from what I've seen, you got to be below like the 70 mile marker drift fishing in big mud flats for a really good bite. This upper lake of those arcs is just completely dead. Crappie are really slow up there. Catfish are really slow up there without any rain. Uh, not much water flow. They, they have been running water of an evening. About the only thing I've seen caught on this upper end is walleye. Uh, they're trolling crankbaits, uh, when they're running that water and doing really good on walleye up there. But that's about all I've got as far as fishing. Uh, the fireworks show, I have been getting a ton of phone calls on that. 
yesterday I had 20 phone calls on the fireworks. It is July 3rd. It is a Monday. Uh, I'm not doing it on the weekend. I always do my fireworks on July 3rd. Uh, that's my birthday, so that's the day I do them on. Uh, <clears throat> Warsaw's is Saturday. Osage Bluffs is Sunday. Mine is Monday. Lincoln and the American Legion is, is on the 4th. So there's fireworks in, around Warsaw for four days in a row right there. Uh, there will be some really good displays up. Uh, I think the ore house is doing theirs on the 8th. That's always a real good display. Uh, the American Legions is always really good. Uh, the city of Warsaw's, it's hit and miss. Uh, last year is pretty short. Lincoln's is pretty good. Uh, that hog roast and music starts at 6 o'clock. There will be the hibachi ice cream set up. I think the shaved ice truck that was there last year will be set up. Uh, Fallen Outdoors will be set up selling t-shirts and hats and stuff like that. Uh, they'll all be there about 6 o'clock, y'all. My parking lot is going to be shut off at 6 o'clock. It is going to be handicap only. Uh, if you're going to come eat, listen to music, bring a lawn chair, park at East Shores Lumber, park at the field up the dam access road, walk down to the shop. It's not that far. Uh, just bring you a lawn chair. I'm going to try to keep most of the grass area open there by the shop. We're going to have the inflatable set up for all the kids. Uh, that's about it. it it's going to be a good time. If you guys didn't see the fireworks show last year, you probably heard about it. You are not going to want to miss it this year. I've got got a couple other people that are wanting to help out. Uh, there's going to be some big stuff this year. Uh, a lot, a lot bigger stuff than last year. So, if y'all can make it, show up. If you can't, I'm sure somebody will be posting videos and pictures of it. Last year, there was all kinds of people that recorded it. Said it was one of the best fireworks shows they ever seen. So hopefully this year is even better for them. So I appreciate it. July 3rd, events start at 6 o'clock. I will not shoot my fireworks off till it is dark, dark. Uh, everybody last year was hooting and hollering trying to tell us to start them. I waited till it's pitch black outside. I don't like fireworks in that twilight. Uh, you want the full effect of it, so you just gotta gotta be patient. Give us time to play a couple more songs, and uh, Jade, she'll be singing the national anthem again. She's really good on singing that. Uh, Brandon Ward, he's playing the music. Uh, He's bringing the big sound system this time, so even if you're parked up and down the highway, you should be able to hear him play this year. Uh, it's it's going to be a good time. I appreciate it, y'all. That's all I've got. Y'all got any questions, call the bait shop phone number. Uh, if that number is not working, just give it a little while and call back. Our internet's kind of wonky there. It's been going in and out of service. Uh, our phone line runs off our internet box in the shop so uh, if it doesn't go through usually we catch it sometimes it's off an hour or something before we catch it but we'll get it back on so that number is 660-723-5115 uh, for you, some of you that don't know me I've had messages where where's your bait shop located uh, phone calls people that don't know much that have seen my YouTube channel shared I've seen some of my posts shared we're Warsaw Missouri we are about a mile and a quarter from Truman Dam on 7 Highway we're right by East Waters Lumber we're straight south across the road uh, that address is 31046 Cold Springs Avenue uh, 
Real easy to find. We're right off 7 Highway. We're right in between the two bridges on 7 Highway. Uh, leaving Warsaw, we're in between the bridge there on the Osage River and a mile long bridge on Truman Lake. It's super easy to find. And the day of the fireworks, all you got to do is watch for all the cars parked and you'll find us. I appreciate it, y'all. Thank you.